All right, you guys, I just wanted to address the Vincent Herbert and Tamar Braxton situation. Um, so I was on the shade room earlier, minding my own business slash everybody else's business, like everybody else that be on the shade room and Hollywood and lots and all that stuff or whatever. And I came across just, it just kept popping up. It was just like everywhere. It's like, it's just dead in your face. Now, let me just say, I really love Tamar Braxton. Um, I watched the Braxton's, but I really never really watched Tamar Braxton, um, Tamar and Vic's show until like this season, actually. Like, and I really didn't know what they were going through, but it just all uh, just, you know, became so apparent on their TV show and it highlighted their divorce. Um, but I do remember in the last episode, she was saying how Vince and her are friends. But it just, I saw a different side of Vince than I would normally see on social media watching that. But anyways, let's get to this tea. So this is from Tamar's Instagram um, that she posted earlier. So Vincent Herbert is having a baby and his whore decided to let me know about it tonight. That stupid broke ass whore should check public records on Christmas before she goes through with it. He called back despite his protection order begging and lying like he's hanging out with Joe and Roxy from BC. That was whack, Tay Tay. That was whack, but I know you mad, boo. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that's credible. No shade. However, before you judge me, know the facts. So yeah, she, he got a whole little side piece, you know, and it's kind of, it's sad. So now everyone is trying to figure out who the baby mama is and <laughs> people was just throwing shade at Laura Colbert so because she uh, went on the shade room and, and was like was T you know so she added her on Twitter and was like Laura M. Colbert because her baby daddy said they were you know I guess messing around they were fucking around um so yeah kind of messy so I mean is Laura Govan the baby mama I don't really think so, but <laughs> of course they were talking about Vincent Herbert uh, arrested for battery on Christmas Day, like she stated. So this just kind of highlighted that people had a full receipt on that. But let's go back to Miss Govan's situation, because you know she was gonna clap back at that. She was just gonna let uh, people accuse her of being a baby mama, you know. So she had to give us tea on what's going on with her, you know, but. Uh, but first, somebody uh, <laughs> changed his like, records or whatever. It was like a uh, record executive producer, record producer, and tongue-tied cheater. Hmm. Tamar, was that you? Did you do that? Did you do that? Huh? Tamar? <laughs> it's petty as hell. But, um, yeah. So then it goes to says, Laura Govan says her ex-husband Gilbert uh, Arenas is lying about her creeping with Vincent Her Herbert, and he should be focused on paying his child support. Um, so, yeah. In the wee hours of Saturday morning, Tamar Bryson spilled on the beat about her estranged husband, Vincent Herbert, getting ready to be a baby daddy to another woman. Vincent Herbert is having a baby and his whore decided to let me know about it tonight. She wrote in a sense deleted Instagram post. First of all, what I don't understand about these posts and delete that a lot of celebrities do, um, you're in the public eye. So you're going to post something that thousands of people didn't already screenshot, sent over to the shade room, sent over to Hollywood Unlocked and, and TMZ and everything else. And then you're going to go back and delete it, boo. We already seen it. <laughs> we seen it. We saw it, boo. We seen it. <laughs> we saw it, Tamar. Anyways, uh, so of course, it goes on to says that say that social media began speculating who the baby mama is, and then they settled on Laura Govan, who we have we spoken to Laura Govan, and of course, they said they didn't post it because she room that wasn't true. Um, so we knew it was roommates, which is why we never posted a story. Truth be told, Laura is in a relationship with someone else. So she's actually dating a white boy. She's doing the swirl, y'all. She's doing the swirl. So she said, first thing first, Vincent is not my type. 
I don't know. He ain't really my type either. His money my type though. But anyway, <laughs> she said she has nothing but respect for Tamar and Vince, but none of this is true. Apparently, Tamar had been a little inebriated while she was talking. So she goes on to say that she's understandably hurt, which Tamar is. I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes we speak out of context without really knowing the facts. So, no, the baby mama is not Laura Govan. She's actually in a very happy relationship with some white boy. So, I mean, do you, boo-boo, do you, whatever floats your boat. You better do this world if that's what you want to do. That's what you into. So, it ain't Laura, y'all. It ain't Miss Govan. It's not. Um, well, yeah, this is just getting messier, messier, messier 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 so it looks like mr matt barnes has some clap back we ain't really gonna get into that because i'm like about that shit like it is what it is but <laughs> this is actually really sad i hate seeing marriages fail i really do send it um let me go ahead and pull up the police um records from december 25th so it looks like vincent got a little drunk things got a little heated and he got arrested over um the whole situation so you knew social media was gonna go and pull receipts so this is his arrest record from december 25th 2017 um so he was arrested and booked so yeah of course, people pulled the public records from Christmas Day. So this it seems like he actually has anger issues, which I'm surprised because y'all see him on the show. He's all like soft spoken and just relaxed and talks like this and, and just like nothing gets to him. But those are the ones that you have to be careful about. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so no relationship envy here. People like be one what everybody else has and the grass ain't always greener on the other side, which we clearly see here, because this is just a hot ass mess. So she goes on and go on another brand against Melissa Schumann, um, who has some nasty things to say or whatever. So she went in on Miss Melissa, but the highlight of this whole rant was she said that Melissa suffers from INAC, aka I need a check, <laughs> which I never heard of, but I'm definitely gonna use that. Say, 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 that was brilliant. I'm gonna use that for these little thirsty little heifers out here. So I know I ain't gonna use that for real because I don't be having no haters. So if I do have haters, I mean they don't say nothing to me. So whatever it is, what it is. But I like that. So anytime you you see a bitch need like <laughs> some attention, that she suffers from INAC. I don't know if that's gonna stick, but I kind of like it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, she clapped back on the haters, and this is it is really sad, you guys. It is, um. Yeah, it's just a sad situation. I do want to know who the baby mama is, although I don't really like, I don't know the situation. I don't know um, what the conversation was between the baby mama and Tamar, but I wouldn't be mad at her. It's more so Vincent's fault because the ink barely dried on the divorce papers. And now you got some chick pregnant and Tamar is basically telling her to abort that baby. Uh, <laughs> you know, you don't know what you're doing, boo. And it's, it's sad. It really is sad. It's unfortunate. But these type of things happen all the time, you know, but it's not Vince, it's Vincent's fault. It's not Scott. I mean, you can't kind of put blame on the side chick because we all knew who Vincent was married to. You feel me? But at the end of the day, these chicks, they don't know nothing but a check. So, yeah, she going to go get pregnant by this nigga that got a lot of money. But all I'm going to say is Carmen is a bitch and she's probably just going to get a lot of child support from Vincent. And Tamar, get your alimony, get your money, get your checks too. Like, fuck these niggas. Like, these niggas do be wrong, fuck them. So, that was the tea for today, honey. Honey. <laughs> this is just too much. It's Like I said, it's really sad. But it just was all over the shade room today. You know, I kind of post these stories here and there and once in a while. And something is just like, well, damn. And it's sad. It's sad. He didn't lost all his weight, and I mean, he didn't lost his weight and start smelling himself like a little too much. Like Tony back boo boo, 
I mean, don't nobody, people don't want you probably because of your money, because you is not all that, Vincent. Vincent D. Herbert, you are not all that. Your money is all of that. But you, you, my dear, you're not all that. Tamar is going to bounce back. I guess she might bounce back too, but humble yourself. Like, I was watching him talk on a show. I mean, I know everyone loses weight and their confidence boosts, but his was just too much. So, humble thyself. All right, and that's all from me, Shantae Maria. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace, loves.